This is a donut burger. This is a zombie gingerbread man. This is what tasting styrofoam looks like. And these are a bunch of desserts that start with the letter M. Maybe by now you're either kind of hungry or kind of curious or hopefully a little bit of both. Hi, I'm Nat. And I'm Lo. And this is our 20% project where we go around Google learning about all the stuff we're curious about. And if you've ever visited Google, you may have seen these big, goofy-looking statues. They're known as the Android Lawn Sculptures. And they're kind of like the mascot for every new version of the Android operating system. We wanted to know how they get made and thought it would be easy to make a quick little video about that. But once we started, we realized we had all these other questions, like why name Android releases after desserts? And why do they make statues and not something else? So we kind of fell down this Android rabbit hole, meeting not only Gio, who makes the sculptures in New Jersey, but also Hiroshi and Dan, who work on the Android team. But we're guessing that some of you might just be watching because you want to know what the Android M is. Might as well just get that out of the way. What's M? Oh, well, it's a secret. Oh, okay. I can't tell you. <laughs> it's hard to even say it out loud. You're, you're not going to tell me? No, it's a secret. <laughs> we already saw and helped with the statue, That's so maybe we can just talk about it. Yeah, we can finally. talk about the marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> Now that we've let the Android marshmallow out of the bag, let's get into it, shall we? Basically every year we, we come out with a new version of the software that runs on your phones and we give it a name and it's alphabetical and thematically we decided we would go with tasty treats. It started with cupcake and then donut, eclair, froyo, gingerbread, honeycomb, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, Kit Kat, and lollipop. And now, marshmallow. Some people think they're dessert themed, but it's really technically tasty treats. Can you actually <laughs> define what a tasty treat is? You know it when you see it. It's the thing that if people are working long hours, yeah. there's a certain hour where a tasty treat is the only exactly. thing they want. We were such a small team back then, you know, when we started. We were eating donut burgers like you do, um, which of course is like a Krispy Kreme split in half with a burger in the middle of it. These engineers and product people are tired and exhausted and they just want to eat bad food. In fact, that's, I believe, where the whole let's do desserts thing started. This one person in particular that I'm thinking of who just thought it would be a fun thing to do and they came up with kind of a random, you know, let's call it this, and then it kind of stuck. A lot of people sort of throw in their ideas, you know, internally as well as externally. We've had people send us letters saying, please name it this. Like what? I think it was a Kugloff Association based in France. And they actually sent us a cake too. It was very, it was touching actually. Have you um, like played a factor into any of the names that have existed so far? Yeah, in, in roundabout ways. You know, I try to stay out of it, to be honest with you, because I like so many things. But Kit Kats, uh, you know, is something that I, I'm particularly fond of, Kit Kats. I think most people like Kit Kats. I don't think you can trust anyone who doesn't like Kit Kats. <laughs> And as lots of you watching this know, Android likes to keep these names a very closely guarded secret until they're officially announced. And sometimes we like to troll um, the audience a little bit. So the last couple of Google I.O.s where we've done this, um, this preview release thing, we don't tell people what the name is. Right, you um, just call it Android M. And I can't claim credit for this idea. This was Dave Burke. He, he said, hey Dan, I'm gonna be wearing a watch at Google I.O. And I think the watch face should show a bunch of things that M might be. Knowing full well that the enthusiasts would be like, yeah. zoom right in and they would see this thing and say, oh my gosh, M is milkshake. So now that we know how Android started naming its releases, let's see how the sculpture versions of those come to life. Gio is the main guy who, along with a small team in New Jersey, make all of the sculptures. He actually started pre-Tasty Treat back when Android was just starting up. One night, he got an email from Google, and that led him to making the first ever 13-foot-tall Android sculpture and shipping it across country all in a week. And that's how this whole collaboration with Geo was born. He told us that for each sculpture, the process starts with these giant blocks of styrofoam. We'll shape it, sand it. And why do you use styrofoam as opposed to something else? I like working with this material. I mean, uh, it makes a mess. Uh, we get it all over ourselves and what have you, but it's lightweight and you can get a lot of detail out of it. And then we suit up. Then we spray it with a plastic hard coated and we spray it at around 150 degrees. So you wake up a sweat. <laughs> Marshmallow, <laughs> I am your father. 
After that, they paint it, wrap it all up, and ship it across country to Google. It's become a tourist attraction. It How does really that has. feel to you? It's great. Who knew that something like that would happen? It's always fun to see people using the product that you make, but also to be able to see people then interacting with the statues that kind of represent all your hard work for the past year. That's a really nice feeling. It kind of makes you proud and, and then it just makes you happy that people like what you're doing. You know, it's a cool feeling. But we always like to kind of try to outdo ourselves and surprise people and, you know, make people smile a little bit. You know, that's kind of what yeah. we're trying to do. 